Hi, this is Kurt Repencheck with National Parks Traveler. I'm here in Rocky Mountain National Park to kick off a series on beaver in the national park system. And what's going on are many units of the Park Service in the western half of the United States are turning to beaver to help restore the habitat to what it once was. This landscape behind me used to be very tall willow, willow groves, willow trees, willow stands, and it was all marshy ground because beavers, just over here to my right, is the Colorado River, beavers would dam that up and it would force the water across this landscape and make it kind of a mushy ecosystem, a marshy ecosystem, which really was great for willow stands. In the 1970s, um, moose were recovered in, in Colorado. The state brought the moose in, not into the Rocky Mountain National Park, but outside the park to the north. But the, the moose loved it here. They came down from Yellowstone uh, as part of the recovery program they multiplied incredibly. Within five years of returning moose or bringing moose into Colorado, the state actually started a hunting season for moose. That's how rapidly they were growing. The moose came across this landscape. They loved the willow. They wiped out the willow. And that was a real detriment to the landscape. In the coming weeks and months at National Parks Traveler, we're going to be looking at these places across the West, at Mesa Verde, at Bandelier, at Great Basin, and even Yellowstone National Park, and how beaver are helping restore the habitat. And it's not just to bring back the willow trees, but beavers create these incredible ecosystems. They can help raise the water table. They can create these resilient areas against forest fires. They'll burn around the area because these areas are, are lush and a lot of water. So pay attention in the coming weeks and months and follow us as we cover this story in the national parks.